I said I'ma crush it. Call me the gold. Hi, I'm Anthony Walker, your host for Unsung, our region's nonprofit online news magazine show. Unsung is back for 2012 after a brief break. We hoped you liked the resolution episode. I know we had a lot of fun making it. I'm here in Southside at the City Theater. City Theater has been described as Pittsburgh's most adventurous theater, and they specialize in new plays. We'll get a look at their new play, Through the Night, and Christopher Whitlatch reports from Every Child. Now, here's what's happening with our area nonprofits. On December 13th, hashtag tweet to help was officially trending in the Pittsburgh Twitterverse. It was a big day for a small nonprofit like South Hills Interfaith Ministries. The hashtag tweet to help campaign was a joint effort of St. Clair Hospital and South Hills Interfaith Ministries, designed to raise funds for and awareness about the Shim Food Pantry. The rules were simple. For each retweet of the original tweet, St. Clair Hospital would donate 50 cents to Shim with the limit being $1,000. The campaign kicked off on December 13th and was to continue through December 23rd. The goal was 2,000 tweets in just under two weeks, but that was before the topic started trending. By the end of the first day, they were at 700 retweets and going strong, so the hospital decided to up the ante. If Shim could reach 2,000 retweets by the end of the third day, which was December 15th, they would kick in an extra $500. By the end of day three, they hit 2,000 retweets, securing a $1,500 donation to the Shim Food Pantry. The donation enabled them to buy groceries for about 75 families. The National Aviary $17.5 million expansion and renovation project has been awarded a Silver Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design Certification for green design by the U.S. Green Building Council. The project, designed by Springboard Design, was completed in September 2010 and included construction of the Helen M. Schmidt Flight Zone Theater, an indoor space for presenting free flight bird shows, films, and educational programming. The addition of a rooftop sky deck for bird of prey lure flying demonstrations and releases, a cafe, classrooms, new facades, new exhibits, and a new grand entrance and lobby space. Green design highlights include use of light-colored roofing material to reflect rather than absorb sunlight and heat, high-efficient mechanical HVAC systems and plumbing fixtures, extensive use of recycled and recyclable materials, lighting controls and use of motion detection to reduce energy usage in theater and classroom spaces, as well as other locations, a green roof to reduce runoff, and the use of locally sourced materials, as well as low and or no VOC paints, water-based adhesives, and carpets that do not outgas. Lisa Roberts, parent of little sister Sarai, told this story to big brother and sisters of the Laurel region. The opportunities that my daughter has been afforded through big brother's big sisters has been amazing. Her big sister is very patient with her and has been able to do things with her that I am not able to due to my son being disabled. She has gone from a quiet, withdrawn child to one who is starting to be able to find joy in life again. Without this program, I did not know what my daughter would be doing right now. The difference that Big Brother's Big Sister makes in children's lives is remarkable. Find out how you can get more involved at bbbslr.org. Let's check in with Christopher Whitlatch in the East Liberty offices of Every Child, which serves birth, foster, and adoptive families and children with special needs from Allegheny County and surrounding counties in southwestern Pennsylvania. Thanks, Anthony. Today, Unsung is at Every Child Incorporated in East Liberty. Every Child is an organization here in Allegheny County that provides vital services to family, children, and youth with its hardworking and dedicated staff. They're also an organization that has had to do the same amount or more even with less. And we're going to hear the story today from the executive director of Every Child, Jesse McLean. Every Child Incorporated was started in 1997. It was started by our previous executive director and founder, Susan Davis, um, founded out of her home because she had a mission to ensure that every child, regardless of age, race, disability, uh, deserved to grow up in a loving, lasting family. So every child was started at that particular point, and we've expanded our array of services to this particular point to include family-focused, family-based mental health services, adoption, foster care, in-home prevention services, pregnancy support with trained doulas, and our MetRAP service. I would say that I think that the state needs better education on how 
prevalent these services are for folks within Allegheny County, particularly children and families. Um, we just recently had a budget passed in uh, June of this year. Um, it has significant impact on the local Department of Human Services as well as a lot of nonprofit organizations within Allegheny County. For example, our agency was cut about $300,000, um, and that's significant. Um, however, we're going to continue to do the work the best that we can and continue to provide the services to the best of our abilities to ensure that no child or family uh, goes unserved. Usually around 250 families a year um, because the families, uh, depend depending upon um, when they come to us, for example, pregnancy support with trained doulas, we know we're going to have them for at least six months. You know, we start with them when they're six months with their pregnancy, then we, we're with them until they have the baby, and then we're with them uh, probably three to six months after they have the baby to make sure that uh, the parent and baby are doing fine, that they're following up with their appointments and everybody's doing well developmentally. <laughs> Folks can get involved through every child through a lot of different ways. Um, our biggest fundraiser is our Challenge to Champion event, which this year is going to be held March 23rd at Heinz Field. We uh, have Ryan Clark and his wife who will be our co-chairs for this event. Um, we have a, a couple other uh, uh, guest attendees that will be there. But it's a fabulous event. You can go on our website to view last year's pictures. Last year, Mike Tomlin and his wife, Kia, was our co-chairs. Everybody had a fabulous time. So you could help us by donating to the challenge event. Or if you want to be a volunteer, you can contact us here at Every Child 412-665-0600 to indicate that you want to be a volunteer. And we have activities throughout the course of the year where folks can volunteer at our holiday parties. Um, we have our turkey stuffing bags where you know we stuff bags with gift cards, um, side items, so that we could pass out to our families over the holiday, you know, for for Thanksgiving. Um, we have a donor appreciation event where we thank our donors who have, you know, contributed to Every Child. That's usually held in June. Um, we raise uh, money through Every Child, through the Highmark Walk, through the United Way. So not only do funds help folks here at, the, here at Every Child, but also, you know, like, for example, through the United Way. Uh, and if somebody is interested in becoming um, a foster parent, how might they go about doing that? Um, they could contact the agency here at 412 665 600 and indicate that they're looking to become a foster parent. We have trainings throughout the year, and we do have a need for foster parents. Um, right now, our data shows us that typically foster parents like to work with babies. And over the last 90 days, the referrals that we've been get, getting from the county have been kids under the age of five. And that's very rare because usually it's teens that folks get, and a lot of folks a little, they shy away from the teens, although I think teens is the easiest population to work with, um, but they tend to shy away from the teens. But we've been having a real increase in referrals for younger kids. So if there's foster parents out there who would, or prospective foster parents who would like to be a part of every child and work with, you know, young kids or teens, you know, please give us a call. We'd be happy to work with you. The City Theater Company's latest play, Through the Night, tells six intersecting stories about what it means to be a black man in America today. Each unforgettable voice reveals the hope, courage, and determination we all need to make it through the night. To get at the heart of the play, they asked the good people at Bat's Barbershop to share their opinion on two questions. What does it mean to be a man, and what gets you through the night? This is what they had to say. To be a man. Be a man. I said, I love the question. Take responsibility and taking care of your family. That's, that's what being a man is to me. True notions of manhood, you know, concepts of black masculinity seem to be pigeonholed. Wow, that's a, that's a lot when it comes to that, right? <laughs> that's a little question. For example, um, the, in the hood, the image of manhood. 
oftentimes has to do with your ability to, you know, handle yourself physically, whether that's in, you know, confrontation with another young man or, you know, even in, like in the bedroom uh, with, with a young lady. But we need to be expanding notions of manhood beyond that. Uh, so in answer to your question, uh, what, what is real manhood, um, I think that as long as you have a, a, a sense of a connectedness to God, you're, you're taking responsibility for yourself. Somebody have respect for not only themselves, but other people around them. Yeah. Commitment to your community. Um, to hold it down. You have a commitment to your family. Learn from your mistakes. Um, you have a commitment to um, development, personal development, to love yourself. A commitment to engaging in issues of uh, you know, social justice in whatever uh, way that you can. You know, I think that that's, um, that's what real black manhood really, is, uh, really entails. relationship with God, um, just to wake up and, and just to try for another day. Well, I pray before I go to bed, so God just be through my, um, my family, my, my children, um, and I want to I, I wanna enjoy this life. That's, that's motivation to get up right there. Uh, my life's work, the purpose that God put me on the earth for. I got, I got a good wife, my wife, strong partner of mine. Without her, I won't be here right now. Bricolage Urban Scroll returns for the seventh time on February 25th. Each year, Bricolage sends six playwrights out on a 90-minute ride on a Pittsburgh City bus. Each writer then has 12 hours to write a 10-minute play, which the directors and actors will have the next 12 hours to rehearse, memorize, and stage live before your eyes that very evening. The North Hills Community Outreach has been chosen to compete in the first-ever Generosity Footprints, a Facebook-based contest. The contest champion win $10,000 while growing individual and collective acts of generosity in local communities. NHCO is an interfaith organization addressing the needs of people in crisis, hardship, and poverty. They envision Northern Allegheny County as a sharing community where no one is cold, hungry, or alone. NHCO services for struggling families and individuals include two food pantries, utility assistance, emergency financial help, college scholarships for non-traditional adults, support groups, basic financial planning, employment coaching, and a community auto car donation program, and more. Let's start the new year running. It might be cold out, but there are a couple fundraising events coming up that require your running shoes. The first ever Autism Frostbite 5K is January 28th in North Park. It benefits a board, and details are available at valuelink1.com slash frostbite5k. The Valentine's 5K is February 11th, also in North Park. It benefits the Remy Savoy Glute 1 Foundation. Details are available at valentinesday5k.kintera.org. Thanks for watching Unsung. Be sure to share it with your friends. You can check out our previous episodes and our Unsung Uncut series over at pittsburghonvideo.org. I've been your host, Anthony Walker, reminding you to keep it awesome, Pittsburgh. We'll see you next time. So I said I'm a crush it. Call me the golden boy, cause it shine whenever I touch it. Don't rush it, the flow comes naturally. Actually, the whole hood after me. Masterpiece, I outran a pace car. And these dudes get mad cause they can't even find a day job. I stay hard with or without Viagra. And I said the flow crush like the force of Niagara. I'm after a major label budget, but since I'm not pop top 40, they all scared to touch it.